One of the best parts about your friend's birthday is giving her a gift. Deciding which gift to give her? Not nearly as much fun. The challenge is to find something that you're as excited about giving to her as she will be about receiving it. I can't go to the party if I don't have a gift for the birthday, girl. Well, so what's the holdup? Indecision, my friend. What I want to give her is a cactus. But I can't decide which one she'd like. Hmm. Just give her this one. That was easy. Mammalaria acutus? Mm, no. Rosa wouldn't want this. Here you go, then. Mammaloidium magnus? Well, I need to hold on to him for a while. So where are the ones you don't need to hold on to? That's the whole problem. I need them all. Okay, let's go pick out a new one. Lead the way. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Come on, Chico. <sighs> this is a great idea, by the way. A nice small plant for her house. <sighs> oh, my. Is it me? Or does this look much bigger closer up? We should keep looking. Over there. <laughs> nope, not this one. <laughs> Too prickly. Oh, right there, another one. Nah, that one. How about uh, this one? Uh, oh, definitely, definitely not. not. Footprints. Ha, someone else has been here. Yeah, I don't think so. These prints are ours. Ha, hey, you're right. We must have taken a wrong turn. What? They're heading the wrong way. Which means we go this way. Hmm. Chico, we're going in circles now. Hmm. Oh. Um, do you think we're lost? What if we don't make it back for the party? This is your fault! Cactus smack this! No, not this one, or this one. You know what? I bet they've eaten all of the cake! What's wrong? You look shorter. I have the strangest sensation that I'm sinking into the sand. Hmm. How is that even possible? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh. No, come on, Chico, don't just sit there. You have to stop yourself from sinking. Use your arms and pull with all you've got. No. <sighs> don't do that again. It's too hot. Water. I could really use some. How about you? I'll be all right. Here, Crash, you're not looking too good. Put this on. I'm all right. On second thought, give me that. Thanks. You know what I'd like? Some water. Cacti have some water inside. Wonderful. I don't see any. Wait! That was disgusting. Well, come on. It's getting late. There's more desert ahead. Could it be the ocean? <laughs> uh, the ocean! <laughs> the ocean? What happened to the ocean, Chico? It was only a mirage. Hey, Crash. 
You know what I'm planning on getting you when your birthday comes back around? A shiny new fishing pole. Brand new, state of the art. Do you want to know your present? <laughs> Hand weights! Some really heavy ones. <sighs> well, hey, look! It must be from the party. We have to go that way. And then the turtle says, But I had to outrun the ostrich. Outrun the ostrich. Ostrich. I don't get it. Nice of you to show up. I can't believe that you're this late to my birthday party. Hmm? Hmm? We, we hope, hope you like, like them. them. Oh, 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 you know, I learned something today. Giving presents is nice. Nicer than picking them out. Holy carrots, just listen to this! You will be plunged right into a world of pleasure thanks to the magical wildlife on this fabulous uninhabited island! Yeah? Well, being plunged would be good, because in my opinion, the experience so far has just been so-so. What do you mean, so-so? Look, it says right here in the brochure. The travel time will simply fly by as you look forward to your date with nature. Got it? <laughs> keep rowing, Chico. Keep rowing. Uh -huh. Keep rowing. Keep rowing. <sighs> ah. <sighs> See that? The sweet scented shade of tropical treetops. The Azure Sea. Beautiful golden sand. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> ah, Chico, I think I got sunburned. You probably have to apply oh, something cold to it. No, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> I'll just take a dip in the Azure Sea and I'll be as good as new. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Come on, Chica, the water's great. <laughs> Fresh, don't go out too far. Careful. <laughs> Fresh, oh, 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 what happened? Oh, I'm coming. Help me! I get, I get off, get off. <laughs> What was that thing? Uh, I was trying to swim out there, but instead of water, there was that. It stings. These are jellyfish. It says here that jellyfish rarely swim here and hardly ever approach the shore. Maybe they're good for sandwiches? You know, peanut butter and jellyfish. Guess we can't swim here anymore. The crash, it's no big deal. Maybe the sea isn't good for swimming here, but it's still an uninhabited island. I read in the travel book that the second thing a traveler must do is to replenish their water supply. The first thing to do is buy the travel book. These sweet-scented shade trees don't really give off any shade at all. And there's no scent either. Other than that, they're perfect. Well, maybe it's just not shade season. <laughs> it looks like fresh water isn't in season either. Chico, take a look. Does it say in there about what inhabitants of an uninhabited island eat? It just talks about the heavenly taste of the exotic fruits. Are you serious? Let me see that. <laughs> oh, my carrots. Chico, look at all these exotic fruits. They were right. It's just like the brochure. But it doesn't say anywhere in here which fruits are okay to eat. What are you talking about, Chico? They're all okay to eat. Oops. I'll be right back. Crash, where are you going? Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, why is it so cold? We're in the tropics, right? It says here, at night the temperature drops to a refreshing heavenly cool. So why do they put that information in small print? At the very end! Gotta go! Oh. And they talk about the heavenly fruit in big print at the beginning. I don't know. Oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> Do you know if these temporary problems we're having are actually temporary problems, or is traveling always like this? Huh. <sighs> I'll never take another magical, full of nature and beauty trip like this again. And here is my raspberry preserves. <laughs> and our favorite Can tea. Open Nothing this? tastes better. Just I was craving this tea since we left. Uh, yeah, really? You remember, you went for a swim and got covered in jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, and I got the proof, too. Look, 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 it's a scar. <laughs> Very interesting. And the trees there don't provide any shade. <laughs> is that so? That's right. And the fruits. <laughs> have such a heavenly taste. Well, there were some temporary problems to start with, but it's nothing. Someday, I'll dare to be as adventurous as you two youngsters are and go on a trip such as yours. Carlin, I highly recommend it, because it's truly heavenly. And after we carry the 12 into the square root of gravity, we get half the speed of light divided by negative zero. So it becomes obvious <laughs> that such a thing cannot be done. <laughs> so you're saying you can't jump into the sun? No, Crash, but you can't. I... <laughs> oh, it's fine. You win. <laughs> oh. That's just an obvious fact. <sighs> Like how we breathe air, or the Earth is round. Hang on. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you think the Earth is round? <laughs> For real? Like some kind of ball? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> it's been scientifically proven. <laughs> right, Mr. Round Earther. Let me show you what Earth really looks like. <laughs> Take a look. Everyone knows that the Earth is flat like a giant cookie. That's on top of three elephants, and they stand on a polka-dotted turtle whose name is Henry. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, no, stop. You can't really think that's right. <coughs> I've never heard of anything more absurd or incorrect in all my years. Really? Because I got a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't let your ignorance run rampant. Here. Now, what do you call this? <laughs> That's a weird basketball. Why is it stuck to this stick thing, huh? That's how I know you don't play sports. Uh, wrong again, my uneducated, long-eared friend. This is a globe. It's what our planet looks like. No turtles in sight. Anyone could have painted that thing. Doesn't prove the Earth is round. <laughs> So you're still unconvinced, huh? Unbelievable. Take a gander at this, if you will. A photo of our very round Earth, taken from far out in space. That paper the... looks pretty flat. I'm still right. Do and you... look, the shadow of an elephant. You're turning my antlers gray. This has all been proven. They've known the Earth is round for hundreds of years. That's all just fake news. If that's true, why don't the people underneath fall right off? Look, I'm basically a scientist. Things don't fall off because the Earth has gravity! <laughs> so, understand? If I can't understand it, it's probably not true. Plus, turtles are way cooler. How dare you go around denying science! Ancient philosophers gave their lives for this discovery! Their lives! Oh, yeah? How do you know that really happened? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's sad to make up facts. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Don't tell me you believe the Earth is round, too. I really haven't thought too much about things like that. But sometimes, I get this weird feeling we're all just someone else's creation, and that we're constantly being watched from over there. Um, what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Watched. <laughs> just as I thought, I am the only one with any sense. I should really be a scientist. I should go and prove my theories. And, um, how will you do that? That'll be easy. I'll go to the edge of the Earth and take a picture of the turtle. All right, looks like I'm off. This shouldn't take too long. Ah, our tops. Uh, wait, wait. You need someone to pack up your story. After all, how else can we prove you're right? Hey, good idea. Now I don't have to take a selfie. I can't wait to see the look on Taco's face when I show him the turtles holding up the Earth. He'll be all like, look how genius Crash is. Phenomenal. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, uh, what if it turns out there really is no turtle? I can't. We have to stop. I'm calling it. It's just too far. M maybe... Maybe there is no turtle. But, Chico, how will I prove I'm right? We must be close to the end of the Earth by now. Here, eat this. I'll be back too. What? What if Taco's right? And the Earth is, you know, round. You know what I mean? It's possible. No! No way! The Earth is not round! How weird would that be? Just a random ball floating in space? I mean, does he think I'm an idiot? I mean, really? Next he'll tell me the moon isn't made of cheese or that invisible animals make us sick! Ridiculous! <sighs> Chico, wake up! Wake up! We've made it! It's the end of the world! What's up? Oh, we're definitely headed toward the edge! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, camera! Get the camera! Oh, oh man, I took that from Pin! Looks like we have bigger problems! Ah! 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 Wow, we you see this? Awesome. Holy carrots. The thing is, after this, no one will believe us. Crash was totally right. There's a chance. Hedgehogs are reclusive and primarily nocturnal creatures, though they are sometimes active during the day. They are considered pests in countries where they are not native, Perfect. like Scotland and New Zealand. Now, I know a hedgehog How could he Henry. call us pests? Yesterday, Henry he has no idea how useful hedgehogs are. Hey, nose. I keep real mind. pests like worms. And slugs from gobbling up your garden, Barry. Huh? <laughs> she goes a great big stinky pest. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, would a pest peel piles of potatoes for you? Hedgehogs have poor eyesight, so they rely on their senses of smell and hearing. Henry. Hedgehogs are vital. We live in every corner of the globe deserts, mountains, and even jungles. The world needs us. That's why we are everywhere. Indeed, hedgehogs live everywhere. Right. Except in Australia. Except in Australia? That's what I said. Not in Australia. <sighs> So what makes you think Australia needs hedgehogs so bad? They have kangaroos and platypuses. Hedgehogs and platypuses are pretty much the same thing. Not even close. <laughs> okay, then. If you won't listen to reason, then you give me no choice. What You're not you going anywhere.
No Australia for you. <laughs> Chico, can I have a pillow, please? Do it. You know what, Chico? If you were in Australia, you wouldn't be snug in your bed. You'd be running from a crocodile. Oh, say it to yourself. Well, Crash is always right about everything. <sighs> Why haven't I figured that out by now? Is your plan? Not listening, not listening, not listening. Not I'll just listening, push that back listening, home not and you're listening, fast asleep. Not listening. No, la la la. Why do you have to go to Australia? Can't some other hedgehog go? Why not me? I'm smart, hardworking, and I'm full of energy. Uh, maybe nasty predators like badgers live in Australia. You ever think about that? <laughs> oh, and all you're doing is offering them free delivery on a tasty hedgehog for a course meal. If you're trying to scare me from going to Australia, <laughs> it's not going to work. Don't you think you're being extremely impolite? <laughs> Why is that? You can't just show up to their door without an invitation. Do I need one? Of course, they could be busy. You should really write them a letter first. Dear Australia, do you need a hedgehog or am I just bothering you? You're right. You're absolutely right. I didn't think about that. Uncuff us and let's go home. Yeah, about that. I lost the key. Hmm? You are such a pest. I've been told that I'm no good, that I don't act like I should. Though I try with all my might, nothing ever turns out right. There's some truth to what they claim, but I'm not the one to blame. I may look like the culprit, but the trickster made me do it. I may look like the culprit, but the trickster made me do it. Got my fault, don't look at me. It's not the trickster's treachery. Mercy whispers in my ear. So, how is Australia? We wouldn't know. We didn't make it. That's for the best. I could really use your help in the garden today, Chico. <laughs> Sorry, Perry. That was a really rough trip. I hardly slept a wink. I'm way too tired to help. Guess. Huh? Such a pest! It's not my fault, don't look at me. It's all the trickster's treachery. Catch so far. 
well, sort of, nothing yet. I almost had it! It was the size of a hammerhead shark! Super crazy enormous! Almost had him! Well, actually, I let him off the hook because I'm nice. Hello, Chico? What's the matter? What? Uh, nothing. You're always a little weird, but today it's more than usual. Hey, let's tell more people about my monster fish! Yeah, how about later? <sighs> It was the size of a blue whale. He gave up and I let him go out of mercy. It was awesome! Chico, Chico. Hey, Chico! Hey, Chico. <gasps> Want some? <laughs> What's this? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, carrots! <laughs> <coughs> Is it a fever? Uh, uh, huh? Huh? I just can't stop thinking huh? about her, Lily. And I wonder, huh? what's the story behind this photo? I don't know. Hmm. 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 So this is where you found the photo, right? Hmm. 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 I got it! Got what? The answer? So her photo came from the ocean. But that photo had to get in the ocean somehow, you know? Here's what I think. Someone took a boat sailing away from Lily. But then aliens attacked, and the ship got wrecked, so the photos fell overboard. Hmm? Aliens are usually your first answer, Crash. Hmm. How's this? No aliens this time. Lily is lost at sea. A storm comes and destroys the boat. Lily slips on a dead fish, and then... Ah! Save me! Someone save me! Or maybe she just wanted to go for a swim. We can never know. Chico! 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 What's wrong? I have to help her. She might be in danger. Lily, I'll save you, somehow. Hey! Going on a trip somewhere? Are you looking for Lily? How on earth are you going to find her? Well, I'll know. I feel a spiritual connection. A connection? You've never even met each other. So what? You know what I think? What? I think she dropped her picture in on purpose. She might have fallen overboard, but swam to a nearby desert island. Look at those palm trees. She put those there as directions for her star-crossed hedgehog lover, me. I have to go. This plan is crazy, even for me. You can't do this. You don't even know where you're going, all for some made-up Lily. Don't try and keep me from this. She's out there all alone on an island, wondering when Chico will finally come and save her. So I have to go. And what if somebody else saved her first? There's still a chance. We might be the only people alive who know she's out there and needs our help. No way could I let myself miss that one chance. No, stop! It's too dumb! Someone's yelling for help! Yeah, that was me, between my bouts of seasickness. Mm-hmm. 
think I found your lady. And now, meet my friend, Lily. <laughs> Lily's organic lemonade? Base to crew! Base to crew! Uh, come in, crew! Do you hear me? Listen up! You three have to return to base right now! A huge winter storm is coming! You stubborn explorers, do you copy? You must return to base before it comes! <coughs> what do you mean, fake news? It's the weather, it's not fake! <coughs> you say I'm being what? I'm not being negative, I don't... Jeez, it's like they don't want my help. Sure, we got it from here. <laughs> you guys, I have a bunch of good news. Firstly, we're gonna head even higher up the mountain. Secondly, the weather's gonna get even worse. So we probably won't be able to see or feel anything soon. <laughs> so, which parts are the good news? All good. Never before have we had such a surefire test of strength and character. What an adventure it is to see how far we can all go. I know where I'm going. It's called home. This way. I'm sure there are less painful ways to find an adventure. Ridiculous. Wait! You? <laughs> Wally, don't you want to push yourself to the limits of what you can achieve? You just gotta grab life by the ears. Otherwise, how will you find adventure? Maybe not all of us are in the mood for adventure all the time, Crash. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe we just don't need adventure? Huh? Huh? Nicely done. What did you find? Please tell me it's a warm cabin filled with hot chocolate. Even better than that, Chico found a real character-building opportunity. A what? Oh, no. Is that it? Avalanche! <laughs> <laughs> come in, crew, come in. God, you stopped listening to Crash. of all the stories we'll be able to tell. If we survive, we didn't break anything. And that's a nice surprise. Just think, we rode an avalanche, and now we're stuck in an ice cave with no food or water. Isn't it just amazing, guys? What a real test of courage. I don't want to test my courage. I'll test how quickly I can drink my tea and fall asleep in my own warm bed. My eyelids are frozen. That's not good. I don't care whose parts are frozen to where. This is not nap time. Where'd your spirit go? Wake up, let's go. They say frostbite is only a state of mind. We're still standing on our own two feet. Or not. Last one out of the ice cave does the dishes for a week. Hmm? Hmm? Come in, team. Uh, definitely awake the whole time. You there? Hi, base. This is Crash here. Huh? Everything's great. How's the weather? Uh. What? A cheesecake? Oh, an earthquake. Coming uh. here? Right now? Uh. Well, that's fun. Hey, guys. I think I got more good news. Uh. 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 <laughs> See? This is character building! Oh man, look at us! Overcoming all of these obstacles! Earthquakes are awesome! Just think what we'll tell them back home! Don't you feel more accomplished? How cool will it be if we 
we survive this today? If we survive? Or when, Chico. Whatever. Vocabulary's never been my strong suit. Looks like an if. Well, this is it. Never thought I'd go like this. Should have gotten my will notarized. <laughs> that wouldn't have helped you. Unless by will you mean a jetpack. Chico, have we learned anything? Because I'm learning not to do this again with Crash. Guys, I think we can have a lot of fun with this. How fast do you think you can run from lava? Probably not as fast as I'll be next time I hear his ideas. After this, nothing is scary. I haven't learned anything about myself. Not a thing. Maybe we weren't supposed to learn about our own character, but instead about our friend Crash and his limits. So we agree this is crazy. Oh, yes, it's madness. Hey, guys, guess what? I've got good news. Hey, wait, stop. Just wait. Come back. There's so many experiences we haven't had yet. I should have. Planted by now, but I'm not even close to being done digging. Don't think I can do it before it rains by myself. Well, old friend, you know that I'm always happy to help out. It's just right now I have, um, uh, uh, lower back pain. Ugh, I tell you, it's awful. Don't worry, don't worry. Just sit and relax. Look at those kids running around. Go ask them. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Oh, what the heck. I'll give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Hey, you two. Come give an old bear a paw. I could use some help. So what do you say? Later, later. We can't help now. Check this out. I can't believe we found it. It lets you know where to dig for buried treasure. It also tells you. If other cool stuff is buried... First, we're gonna find and dig out all the treasure around here. Then we'll come and help. <sighs> what a big waste of time. Hmm. Hmm? I know what to do. You should tell them you've got treasure buried in your garden. What? Just tell them that you've got treasure buried in your vegetable garden. They'll dig and dig and be done with it all. But I don't think there's any treasure, so wouldn't that be a lie? It's nothing to worry about. It's for a good cause. Tell them. One thing I don't get. How'd you come to think something's buried here? Uh, uh, well, I... Uh, 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 Carlin? I'm afraid we are not at liberty to disclose our information source. Hmm. There's nothing here. Are you sure? Beep, 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 beep. Ah, what? Look at that. Huh, beep, very beep, interesting. Beep. Give me the shovel. Hey, the two of you are digging far too deep. You need to dig much wider instead. The treasure is hidden, uh, I think, somewhere closer to the surface. I do feel bad lying to them. It's not very nice. Just stop worrying about it, will ya? Those two would be digging anyway, but only in the wrong spot. At least now they're digging in the right spot. Dig here. Huh? Well, I'll be stung by a bee. Uh, 
Hmm, could it be that they actually found something here? Oh, you gotta be more careful. There's an excavation underway here, in case you forgot. This is not a good sign. Mamma mia! This might be from the 17th century. Or maybe the 13th. Terrific, but where's the treasure? You must be kidding me. You really don't understand. This here is the treasure. Uh, okay, but what are we going to do with it? We'll build a museum in this spot. Yes, then we could attract tourists here and overcharge them. Guys, Ooh. come on. Don't you think you're getting carried away with this talk of the museum? Just take what you want and bury the rest. I need to start planting now. My dear friend, you don't get it. There's no way it can be dug up and brought somewhere else. Believe me, the museum must be right here. That's right. And we can make Barry's little house a coat room. Mm. We'll rent overpriced slippers to the tourists. And tickets, too. Oh, my goodness. Just look what I started by lying. Why did I say there's treasure here? Can you please quit all that worrying of yours? It turns out you did tell the truth. Mm. How about you dig over there? Only this time, do it more carefully. That's not carefully! What the... What's happening now? That's some luck. Your whole house just sank. You know what? You're a really lucky bear. Just try and imagine it. 300 years in the future, and someone's having a ton of fun digging out your home. Nah, 300 years is too short. But in 700 years, this shack... Oh, but forgive me. What I had meant to say was this house will be of tremendous value in terms of archaeological significance once it's unearthed. I bet it'll be turned into a museum, one that will rent slippers to tourists. Oh, goodness. I didn't take the trash out today. Why didn't you warn me? I would have cleaned the place up a bit. If they actually excavate, they'll find an enormous mess, and they'll think the previous owner was a... Oh, I'll positively die of embarrassment. Well, who'd like some more milk? I, I do. do. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Crash. How do you know milk is disgusting? <laughs> You've never even tried it. You don't have to try something gross and disgusting to know it's gross and disgusting. Rosa hates caterpillars. You don't see her trying to eat one. <coughs> There's nothing disgusting about it. <laughs> and it's very healthy. Take it from me. Why should I? How do you know it's healthy? Hmm. Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? Everybody knows that? But how do they know? I mean, where are the facts? Where are the findings? Where's the research? Where's the solid proof, huh? Does anybody know who's really benefited from it? How do we know it's not some big scam? Absolutely preposterous. My intuition tells me it's a rip-off, hmm. and my intuition's never failed me. Like that time you tried to prove that poison ivy wasn't poison? Or when we went to the pond that day and you tried to prove that snapping turtles don't really snap? Or that time you tried to disprove concussions and you got one? <laughs> All right, I'll make you a bet. Is it a deal? I'll bet you a carrot. A special investigative report. Is the milk we drink every day a cool, delicious, bone-building beverage that's great with a plate of chocolate chip cookies? Or is it secretly a poison? We intend to find out on Investigation Crash. So, I intend to drink a glass of whole milk every day for the next week while closely monitoring my general health and well-being. This will not be easy for me, <laughs> but I will do it in the interest of science. You mean in the interest of carrots? <laughs> we'll edit that out in post. Where was I? <laughs> and now, my first glass of milk. I'm not sure what will happen after this courageous experiment, but we'll know soon enough. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, pal, 
what's called a cliffhanger? Welcome to day three of our investigative report. Still no idea what its effects are. Is it building strong bones, or is it slowly gnawing away at my insides? Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Give me another one of these, will ya? Cause now it's time to test the effects of my coordination. Uh, can we cut that one out? That was just a bad throw. Well, here we are on day 10. We're in the laboratory. We're about to see if the milk has had any effect. Inhale. <gasps> exhale. <sighs> well, there has been no deterioration of health that I can see. And as a matter of fact, if anything, there's been a bit of improvement since last time. That's impossible. Uh, huh? We interrupt our investigative report to bring you this breaking story. Would you mind telling our viewers exactly what happened to you? Do I have to? We still rolling? Spirit! Uh, well, um, I, uh, um... Yeah? I, I climbed up on a shelf to grab some ink and... Okay, right. uh, and then I slipped. Uh, yeah. uh, and then a bottle fell off the shelf and hit me on the... <laughs> on the head. And can you tell our viewers what was in that bottle? Well, it was milk. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> it was milk. Proof no. that milk is not only disgusting, but a leading cause of life-threatening head injuries. But that's not really... It's an inconvenient truth! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wally's injury is but one illustration of the dangerous effects of milk on an unsuspecting public. And if there are still any doubts as to its deleterious effects, I am here by increasing my dosage of Satan syrup to two cartons a day. And please remember, I am a professional. This is a farce. When are you going to admit that you like it? There's nothing disgusting about it, and it's good for you. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I've got more pop in my hop. Maybe I've grown a little. But how do I know these aren't the initial symptoms of some horrible disease? Shoot it yourself. I'm finished. I'm going to have some milk. Chocolate. <laughs> Cool! Investigation Crash Day 12. We're continuing our investigative report into the effects of milk on the body. But we're taking it in a different direction. Our incisive report is now about its positive effects. And just like always, your old faithful reporter is dedicated to the truth. This is incredible! Hmm. 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 <gasps> A once-in-a-lifetime event! <laughs> I must spread the news immediately! And to think we almost missed it! Man, this used to be fun, you know? Tossing pebbles. But now, I gotta admit, it's lost its fascination. There's gotta be something else, something more. You know what I mean? What do you think? Huh? Maybe we could go for a hike. A hike? That's pretty good. Into the wilds of nature. <laughs> it's coming. Tomorrow at sunrise, a solar eclipse. It's true. This kind of thing happens once every hundred years. And to think we almost missed it. I must alert the populace right away. It's the event of the century. <sighs> I'm calm. I'm completely calm. I'm not calm. <laughs> My friend, we've got an early day tomorrow. 
Exactly how early? And will there be lattes? Chico! Hey, buddy! Check it out. Eye protection. Say goodbye to burnt retinas. That's great. See you in the morning. Nighty night. Sleep tight, pal. Hmm. Uh, 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 Crash, what's going on? Just checking my alarm. Uh-huh. Well, good night. <coughs> What the heck's that? Sorry, figured I should check mine. Gotcha. Trying. I can't sleep either. Not a wink. I mean, just think, Chico. A once-in-a-lifetime event, and we get to see it. Isn't that amazing? A real miracle of nature. We can tell our grandkids about it. It kind of gives me the chills to tell you the truth. Yeah, but we have to sleep first, don't we? Leave it to me, buddy. You just gotta keep moving. Before you know it, you'll be well on your way to Snoresville. <sighs> Uh, yeah, the only problem is I'm too tired to sleep. Come on, buddy. Oh. You gotta get that blood pumping, son. Oh. Just think how sweet the old hay will feel when you're finally ready to hit it. Oh. <laughs> Crash, do you really think this is going to work? Uh. Listen, the eclipse happens at sunrise, and we haven't slept yet. If we don't get enough shut-eye, we'll miss the adventure! Left and right and left, move it! Left and right and left, keep pushing! Left and right and left, don't! We're aiming for hyper-exhaustion here. Hop, two, hop, mm. two, hop! Mm. Attention! Halt! Huh? At ease. What's up with you soldiers? You got any idea what time it is? Ridden a lot of beautiful locomotives in my career. Nothing like a long nap on a long train. Rocks you side to side, see? Choo-choo, choo-choo. Choo-choo, choo-choo. Carlin, wake up! I've been choo chewing like a champ, and I still can't sleep. That's strange. It always worked for me. Well, let me think on it, and I'll get back to you. Or maybe just another hour or three. Wake up, Chico! It's almost time! Come on, rise and shine! The solar eclipse is only a few minutes away! Come on, pal! Just as soon as we witness this once-in-a-lifetime astronomical event, we can sleep for the rest of the day! Okay? Once every hundred years, and we're here to witness it. Pretty amazing, Chico. I can hardly believe it. Oh, sure beats tossing pebbles off a bridge. Much more stimulating, know what I mean? Let's <sighs> 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 